these fuck niggas out here hate. Yeah, I heard it through the pipeline. Rumors about how they gon' rob me in the night time. For real, they just waiting for the right time. But guess what? You never catch me without mine. Without mine. 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 You never catch me without mine. Yo, what's good, man? This your boy Smoke Tales. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you got it on you because I got it on me. You know how we getting down on this end. You got to have a blizzy inside the crib. You got a wife, you got kids, you got to have a strap in the crib. A man got to be the protector. You supposed to protect. You got to protect your neck out here, man. Uh, Wu-Tang told y'all niggas that shit way back in the 90s, man. Yeah, we got to slide the Arizona on this one. A man tried to force his way into a Phoenix home. The homeowner shot and killed his ass. The intrusion happened late Thursday night near 17th Avenue and Coolidge Street. No arrests have been made. Phoenix police have released more information after a Phoenix homeowner shot and killed the man that was trying to break into his home on Thursday night. Phoenix police said they were called to the home near 17th Avenue and Coolidge Street at about 11 p.m. Thursday night. The caller told a 911 dispatcher that he had shot a man who was trying to break into his home. When the police got to the home, they found the man identified as 30-year-old Ricky Gomez who had been shot. Gomez was taken to the hospital where he died, right? He took the room temperature challenge. Now his ass around here smelling, stinking up the place. The homeowner who fired the shot was not arrested, but police are still investigating. Investigating what? You know how it's going down, baby. Cut and dry, right? Trying to run up in that man's house. Got his ass sent to the upper room. But first at five, what you need to do if you knew there was an intruder inside your home. That was a reality for a Phoenix man overnight. And police say he shot and killed that person inside his home. ABC 15's Jordan Bonke is in that neighborhood near 19th Avenue south of Camelback. And he's hearing from an attorney on the law surrounding a dangerous encounter like this one. Somebody stolen another car over there. Sandra says she wasn't surprised to hear what happened not far outside her son's home at 17th Avenue and Coolidge Street in Phoenix late Thursday night. This is a problem. Before 11 p.m. Thursday, police came to a home where an intruder was able to get inside. We don't have many details, but police say the man who lives here shot the man who barged in, and that man later died at the hospital. As of now, no arrests have been made, but the investigation continues. Sandra says she's seen red flags in this neighborhood before. Somebody stolen the car, broken everything. So right here is not mouse. We did have a brief conversation with the homeowner. They did not want to have any conversation with us. They had no comment whatsoever. It's, it's that responsible gun ownership. But we did get a chance to hear from Craig Rosenstein. Um, the decision to shoot it, like shoot at somebody, is the decision to take somebody's life. He's a criminal defense attorney who works with the U.S. Law Shield, a self-defense education group. He also authored a book on Arizona gun law. His first reaction to the early part of this investigation is what's called the Castle Doctrine. Is that you never have to flee your home in order to avoid any kind of physical alteration. Um, in Arizona, you, you don't have to do that on the street as well. So if somebody's attacking you, you're not obligated to first try to run away before using force. He added this. In Arizona, we have constitutional carry, meaning if you're a legal gun owner, you can carry openly outside your home. He says any good gun owner should take the four-hour concealed carry course. Having that knowledge about when you can and cannot shoot is uh, invaluable. Jordan Bonke, ABC 15, Arizona. We have been following this morning of overnight shooting north of downtown Phoenix. So Danielle Miller is live at the scene with details on this. Danielle, what can you tell us? Hi, good morning. Yes, this neighborhood is right near 19th Avenue in Camelback. We just learned new details from the Phoenix Police Department. Uh, the man who they say broke into this home right here last night has died. That is after what they say uh, the homeowner inside that home shot that man uh, who made entry into the home. And uh, yes, he was taken to the hospital where he later died from his injuries. The Phoenix Police Department have been focusing. This is exactly where it happened. This home here in this neighborhood. 
neighborhood. Uh, they have been going in and out of the house all morning long. They have also been looking at some vehicles here in the driveway as well. The mobile command unit still on scene here. Uh, still a few Phoenix police officers as well as detectives continue to investigate this. We do know that this happened right around 11 o'clock last night. Once again, uh, a man made his way inside this home. A man inside the home, the homeowner, then shot that man. The, uh, the intruder then later died from his injuries. So as far as anybody else inside the home at the time, we still do not have uh, that information. Also do not know, uh, have not heard if the homeowner was hurt at all in this case as well. So uh, we are still working to get further details. But as we know right now, the intruder who police say made his way into the home there was shot by the homeowner. He did die in this case. Guys, we'll send it back to you. I don't know what them niggas thinking about, boy, but they better stop fucking around in that neighborhood over there in Arizona. Boy, they getting off around there, boy. Your ass liable to be smelling up the place. Man, this your boy Smoke Tails, man. Until next time, you never catch me without mine. Without mine, 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 you never catch me without mine.